Will this recipe impress all of your Super Bowl friends? He's just pissy that his team didn't get in. The Broncos are a trash team. Welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to make Super Bowl sliders for all you football fans. You think they could have maybe gone with other names, right? Why not Ultra Bowl or Mega Bowl? Mega Bowl sliders. We're doing Mega Bowl sliders, I decided. Mega Bowl because it's super... Shut up. Home run. Sports. Let's start off by making our shosh. Saucy, I like it saucy. Ooh. I'm gonna say about two tablespoons of ketchup. What do you call a tomato type Pokemon? Pea ketchup. Pea ketchup. <laughs> Pea ketchup. <laughs> yes. Next, we're gonna do some... There's mayo everywhere now. About a tablespoon, a little bit more than a tablespoon of mayonnaise. It's gonna be half the fat mayo because Leo was not paying attention to the labels when he bought the mayonnaise. War sister sauce. A little bit of hello, just like that, just a bit. Brings food alive. That's what it says. Well, that's scary. Well, I don't wanna do that. Be ketchup. <laughs> and I'm also gonna do the poison smells. Ugh. And we're gonna add a little fish sauce too. Boop, just a bit. A little fishiness goes a long way. Just watch that, that movie, Nemo, Finding Nemo. Those fishes went a long way. We're also gonna add a little bit of yellow mustard, but you know, feel free to use purple mustard or green mustard, whatever you can find, really. Tablespoon, ew. Tablespoon of, uh, of that mustard. Mix, 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 mix. I don't need you anymore. So get out of my face, ketchup. We'll catch up later. Make sure to get jalapenos and not jalapenoeses. I've had enough of their positivity. I like you though. You keep it real. Come, to, come out to the party. Come out to the party. Welcome to the party, Richter. Oh, these are big boys. Are you good? <laughs> chop, 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 chop. Chop your booty. Well, maybe that's not the right. A little roughage. Wasn't that the guy from Peter Pan? Roughage? Roughage-o. Ruff no, that doesn't sound right. Rufio. Definitely want to be careful when taking drinks from Rufio. <laughs> I don't need you. Fork, get the fork out of here. Tears are real. I don't want your heart, Onion. I want your soul. Paging Dr. Sketchy. We want really tiny dices. Little tiny dices! Onion party! Make sure to camaralize your onions properly. Camaralize. Turn them into a sports car. Did you know that Europeans call football soccer? We want to give them a nice golden brown color. Cinnamon Toast Crunch is my favorite cereal. So, I don't know, use like a medium high heat on this and go to low if you think they're cooking too fast. It's not rocket science, it's onion science. So it's really not as bad. Pretty sure I could figure out how to make onions before I could figure out how to go to Jupiter or Uranus. <laughs> I like to be turned on onion. <laughs> Master has given Dobby an onion. While we're waiting on these onions, you can set your oven to 325 BC. No one told you life was gonna be onions. They were on a break. Onions are tasty. You know what else is tasty? Me! Cool, I'm happy with the level of commercializations in here. Save them for later. Woo! Oh boy. Woo! I'm being super fancy today. I'm using a triple A Angus ground beef and some Wagyu ground beef because I like the fattiness. You don't have to use Wagyu. You can use Wag me or Wag they. Step one, break it up. Break it up! You're gonna render out some of that fat because it's very fatty. Beefy! I'm cooking on a high heat right now because I want to form a crust. Crusty. Moistness. Moist. Moisturize. Flavors. We've got them. It's that time of the season. Time to season. Season with a little bit of salt. A little kick of goshugaru. Add some flavor. And it's delightful. Put in a little Dr. Pepper. Not Dr. Pepper, just regular pepper. Yeah. Garlic powder. Garlic. Yeah, garlic you all over. Ew. Time to put in those young onions. Put in the young onions. He killed the onions. There we go. Mix in your onions, guys. Remember those jalapenos? In they go. American cheeses. Jesus Christ. Remove them from their cheese condoms and just drape it in there. American cheese. And we're just gonna mix it in there. Nothing's reasonable about this, but I don't care. Cheese Louise. Cheesy beefy. And now we have this thing here. Delicious. Let's make some garlic butter. A little bit of garlic. A little bit of butter. It's our garlic butter. You're pretty. So technically you could have two of these. But we're gonna do one because hindsight is I don't have any. Let's chop some bread. Ooh, boy. Oh no, this was not well done, but it's okay. We're gonna take this as a lesson. Fun, 
Fun. Mm, mustard and ketchup and mayo. Things come together in Leo's house. Professional Valone, AKA Provolone. Provocative. Put as many slices as you think is okay. It's probably fine. Meat mixture goes on. Meat mixture completed. There you are. There's the tool I want. I'm such a tool. Ah! Give it a little squishity. You wanna make sure every nook and cranny gets it because you don't want just bread in one bite. That would be not fun as much. Now I'm gonna add some Havarti. Havarti you. We're gonna lay you down to make friends today. Why are you singing? Push it down lightly. Just brush on that garlic butter. And I'm gonna add a little bit of everything seasoning to add a little bit of crunchiness on top. Just a little bit though, not a lot. Just to say hi. Go sugaru. Let's put it in the oven. See you later. Ooh -hoo -hoo. We will be complete in 20 minutes. Future time is now. Oh no, oh my goodness. I wanna eat you, but you're too hot. I can tell now already. Oh, oh, oh. Oh my goodness. Mm. It's so good. Do I take another one? Oh boy. That's a home run. Wait. No, no. It's so good. It's so good. You look like a prospector. You don't even look like a cowboy.